And then we're going to do a black canvas, at least one, maybe two. Hey, Anthony. Sound check. Can you hear me okay? It's looking clear out here. I'm going to cut this liquid clear a little bit. It's a little too... A little too fat. So I started using these little apothecary jars. They work really good for stuff. A little bit of... Oh, there's some mineral spirits there. Great. Hey, Sonny. Oh, Anthony, did you know, since you've been gone, Sonny got her a bow. She's getting hitched, man. All right. Hey, Yama. All right. So let's do I got a couple things I want to get done today. Yesterday we got a couple things done. Let's try to get a couple more things done today. So we're just going to put this liquid clear on here on this black canvas. We're going to oil this thing up. soft brush that I'm using. I should use something a little stiffer probably. I'm going to throw a little couple landscapes today. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. i got a couple other underpaintings done that I, I can go ahead and start painting today too. So. It's nice and cool outside, which is good. It's been so hot here. Anthony, I'm so glad you're back, buddy. You left. Of course, everybody knows we talk together all the time. They were like, I can't even tell you how many questions I was getting every day. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know anything. He didn't tell me. He didn't like check in with me before he left. So, but I'm glad you're back. All right. This is... We'll put that aside for right now. Now, we'll put this liquid clear on. We're just going to wipe it back. something together today. You can't ever actually wipe all the clear off, so it doesn't hurt to wipe it too much. Okay. Where shall we begin? Let's start with some... Let's start with maybe some Indian Yellow. We're using my new palette that I made. I kind of like it a lot. It's so easy to clean. Just so easy to clean. And we'll probably mostly instead of painting with I bought me some got me some new brushes today. I want to try this. I got a couple of I got a some things I haven't used before. I can't use these on this painting, but I'll use them on the I got another summer reader series painting over there. But I got a, a chisel blender and a dagger striper. And I'm really, really, really wanting to use this dagger striper today sometime just to kind of get a grip for what it does. Hey Marilyn, you guys still traveling? Still on the road? Okay, all right. Oh, it's okay, Nancy. Ain't no thing. Everybody was like, you need to call him. And I'm like, I, I, okay, I no. If he wanted me to know whatever the heck was going on, he'd just tell me. I don't need to call him. <laughs> Besides, I don't know how to call him. Uh, but it was fine. It was fine. Hmm. This little patini brush. Let me put some soap on that. All right. Evidently, I wasn't quite as fastidious about putting my stuff away yesterday. I still got things laying around in here. All right, let's get to it. We use some larger brushes today. So let's start off with this one-inch brush. 
This is a Kevin Hill one inch brush. I really like them. They're my favorite one inch brushes for sure. Let's kind of start. Start right out in this area. You're not going to be able to see this too much until it. Now, just using this uh, Indian yellow, some hairs on there. The, uh, uh, it's going to look a little green when you put it against this black because that's, that's how it does. Alright, that's pretty good. We're going to put some of this. This is a new color I'm trying. I'm not cleaning the brush yet. This is uh, Quinacridone Magenta. I kind of started using it instead of a Ligurian Crimson. I gotta use my lizard and crimson up, but I'm still not cleaning the brush. We'll put some. I don't really. I got some cerulean blue left on the palette, but I don't think I'll use that. I think I'll add some. Let's just use some phthalo blue. Put some phthalo blue up there. A little higher up. This glass palette is really a. Uh, I got that idea. I got the actual got the idea from Marion Dutton, and uh, of course I'd modified it for a bunch, a bunch for the things that I was using. But man, it is so so easy to clean, and it keeps up uh, keeps the paint um, wet for so long. I mean, and just wipe it off with a baby wipe. I mean, it just can't just can't beat it. Once you wipe it off with a baby wipe, you need to kind of wipe it off with a paper towel too, but... Alright, let's clean the brush. Oh, you know what? Let's add some more colors here. I'll tell you what. I should have done that while I was doing it. Let's clean this brush out. Hey, Salpy! Good, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. I always like to hear people are getting something out of this. So let's put some, just for now, let's just put some water down here. Maybe we'll get some water down here. I haven't done one of these water paintings in a while. Slap some magenta in there too. And then we'll put some phthalo blue below that. Maybe some out this way. Yeah, what side we're gonna put down there in a minute. When we get to when we get to that part, we'll figure it out. Now to be out of the head broadcast here. Has Emily popped on yet? The girl Emily Jean, there she is. Young lady, what have you done to yourself? I was wondering why you were so quiet yesterday. I thought, now you done it. Now you done it. You done. Emily hurt her back somehow. I was using some baby wipes to wipe the paint off my fingers. It didn't take me long to get paint on me this morning. All right, let's get to this. So I think we'll throw, let's put some sky in and maybe we'll put some distant mountains, maybe some lakes and trees, I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go. Is it, is it like up, like in the middle or up high or down low, kiddo? Because I have back problems, I, I can help you out, tell you what to do, help you out a little bit. Usually, I know you don't want to hear this, but... <laughs> Usually, laying down on it is the worst thing you can do for it, but not always. It depends where it is. All right, so let's go let's start adding some color in here so you guys can see. So let's start here in the middle. Let's kind of use this X stroke. Stick down here in the yellow, and then we'll start to kind of creep up into the red and into the blue. A little bit more.
I'm gonna leave these corners pretty dark. We'll put some trees and stuff over in this corner, so. All right, let's clean the brush. We're gonna be cleaning the brush a lot, probably in this painting, since it's on black canvas. Ah, it's probably um, the sciatic nerve. I, I hurt mine when I was about your age. Um, yeah, ice and heat. Ice and heat are kind of hard. Yeah, stretching it is the best. If you can get up and move at all, that's actually the best thing for it. All right, let's blend this together here with the one-inch brush. If you can move, it's best to move. It's best to move. We're just going to take all these brush strokes mm -hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Right along here, I'm just going to kind of give an indication of some land by brushing that blue into that. Now that nerve, man, that nerve in your back can really hurt a lot. Oh. Yeah, and once you irritate that thing too, it gets really aggravating. I I hurt mine and it's, the pain's never really gone away. I mean, it's, it, it gets, it got better. It gets, it's better on a day-to-day -day basis, but I really stretch it hard at the gym every day. You know, I go to the gym every day, so that's usually, that's the main thing. If I don't get anything else done, I gotta, I gotta get that stretch done for that. I'm just kind of put some movement in down here for this part. Probably don't want that much movement. It's going to be an awful, an awful stormy lake if I uh, leave it like that, but we'll, we'll blend it out. This is an 11, 14 by, 11 by 14 cotton canvas. Three coats of black gesso over the top. I'll let that brush dry a little bit. Let's we'll switch to another one inch brush. All right. Kid, don't, don't mess around with that because, man, it'll, it can hurt you. It can hurt you a lot. But yeah, you should, you should try to stay as active as you can. Alright, that's a pretty good start, I reckon. Let me get some of these brush strokes out right there. There we go. I'm gonna brighten it just a little bit. But first I want to figure out where I want to put the mountains. So let's do that. Or maybe it's really, really early so nice. Hello, Dee Dee. This is uh, Indian yellow, and um, this is that new color that I've added, that uh, Carnacodone Magenta, and uh, that's, that's a nice color. All right, let's put that away. Let's do some of it. Well, let's, I tell you, we'll do this with a filbert. Need some titanium white filbert, but I want to kind of brush it out pretty heavily, and then I kind of want to scrub some of this color in. I'm picking up that yellow right away as soon as I start brushing. I'm just kind of reloading the brush. I'm hoping to carry this pink some color. Look at that cloudy sky. Let's, let's blend that and see how that looks. I think I need a fan brush to blend this time. Mm 
That's pretty good. And maybe just a little bit of... Not that much. That's a little too... Maybe just a couple st streamer clouds up here. There we go. We'll start to add those. I'm still not sure where the mountains are going to go. We'll figure that out in a minute. Hey, Gene. Hey, Billy. I know, yeah, my cell phone does that too. And that's why that's why I have a monitor on the side. But sometimes the monitor, it's working today, but it keep, for some reason it keeps making the... They've made some modifications recently to the app, and it keeps covering the comments up. It's aggravating. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm not going to clean that brush. I'll just lay it to the side for a moment. And let's put some... No, that's too much color. I'll go back to the filbert here in a second. As soon as I clean it out. Alright. So I'm creating a little bit of this blue... Blue... I want to see how this will do. I think we're going to have to add some magenta to that too, though. We're going to have to make it a little bit more lavender color to play against that yellow. So let's just do that. I'm mixing it on the brush. A little to the blue side, but... Just using the tip of this brush, sketching this distant um, mountain here. I'm going to darken it a little bit on the side. There we go. And a little bit on this side. It's got a little distant mountains in there. Let's pull something a little closer to that, though. Let's pull some... Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's take some of this dark sienna. We used a lot of that yesterday. And we'll make this... Well, I'll tell you what. Before we do that, I'll take another filbert. I'll take this pile. And just a touch. Just a touch. Put just a little bit of fog in here, just a little bit of mist. You may have noticed if you follow the channel much the last, since May, I've started using a bunch of different brushes and the topic, my subject matter has changed quite a bit. Because I've stretched out here my fourth year of painting, so I really wanted to get some of that done. So, yeah, we're, we're coming along, we're coming along. Got an art show coming up in September the 15th, so I've got just a couple more weeks to get ready for anything that I want to take to the show. All right. So we're just kind of laying this in with a, f laying a f little fatter layer over the, the lean layer that we put on to start with. Though if I had my choices, I'd probably make it a little bit more lean than I did, but that's okay. Yeah. Alright, let's continue with that. I'm going to have another mountain. Kind of like a plains area here. We'll put some grass or something on there in a minute. This one's going to be a little farther back before it's over. 
so we're not going to detail that too much. So we're going to take some of this raw sienna and some purple, dioxazine purple, kind of shade this mountain off a little bit. Maybe even a little bit of that up there a little bit. All right. Make sure. So it's cooler here today. It's it's was 64 when I got up this morning. A couple days ago when I got up, it was like 89 when I got up. It was like, holy crap, that's too hot. But I have to get out in the garden, so I spent a couple of really hot days out in the garden. But today it's so much cooler. It rained like crazy last night, which is good. It means I didn't have to water this morning, but I'm just tapping this in and just kind of staining the canvas over that, that kind of brownish color. All right. I think before I go too much further, I want to highlight some edges on these mountains a little bit. So maybe this will get a chance. Oh, I might get to use my dagger striper. Let's use that. All right, let's try it. So this is a dagger striper. We'll see how this does. I have no feel for this brush at all. I just got it this morning. Have you guys, anybody else here uh, use these dagger stripers? I understand they can be used for like um, like putting pinstripes and stuff on cars. I'm putting like really thin lines in it. That's really what I got it for was to put in some really thin lines. I don't know if this is exactly what it's made for, but that's what I'm going to use it for. Let's kind of simulate some maybe some things back this way a little bit. Wow, that's nice. All right. Okay. Okay. This is a mixed media brush. Emily, you might have seen it. Um, Chuck Black uses dagger stripers a lot. You might have seen his videos. Hey, Pamela. Alabama. I used to live in Alabama. I lived in Alabama for a long time. While well, I was in the military. Most of my military, not all of it, but most of my military career was spent in Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Let's try not to sing. That would be horrible. Okay, now I think let's put some we'll start putting some landscape in here. Let's put a little bit more landscape of you. Take some sap green. I don't want to really I'm going to tap a little bit of this sap green, back up in here. 
kind of insinuate some trees back up that way a little bit. All right. And then, and then let's mix that with some brown. There we go. It's got a little bit of a green tint underneath of it. Mix that color. So I'm kind of painting in a puddle over here of paint to keep that paint consistencies going across the painting. If you follow me, you know that this is a little different than how I've done these in the past. A little more darkness, a little, maybe a little more green out this way. Alright. I want to take, let's see, let's mix some of this, some of that, right here in the middle. Pull some stuff up. Really, 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 really just the trees. Add a little bit of color to that, more color to that. Uh, great, like some tree trunks in between. Just add a little more motion to it. Oh, good, Billy. That's excellent. You have to show it to me when you get it done, buddy. All right. Let's start. Let's put some dirt in here. Some round. Let me say it that way. Some round. Now we're just using a palette knife to put this on. Careful, and I want it to be uneven. All right, that's pretty good. And then we'll start thinking about putting some else, other things in here. Oh, let's get a fan brush. That one will do. I think this will do. And some sap green and some cerulean blue. No, not yellow. See how this looks. That's okay. So we're using up the cerulean blue that I have on the palette here from yesterday. Scratching some trees here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. inside there. They can be right on the edge, that's fine. So we've been working on the summer series. That's been pretty fun. Uh, I got three more over there. What you need to tune up? Plus two landscapes, one of which I'm going to do before the end of the stream is over, probably. But we shall see, we shall see. Let's take the one inch brush and let's just kind of pull a little bit of this color down. Then we'll pull it across. All right, there we go. And voila, we got some reflections in there.
you haven't seen Emily Jean's stuff lately, she has been knocking out a couple of different things. Mostly, she's been mostly doing a bunch of pendants, but she's also got her new, her newest large painting going. If you haven't seen that, the videos are up. You should go catch it. It's pretty slick. Super talent. Plus, if you didn't, if it's been a while, she actually went back and touched did some touch-ups on her bear too. I think the painting uh, was haunting her a little bit, so she went back and gathered that up. Did a couple things to it. It's pretty slick. All right, let's get let's move some of this color out of my way. I'm gonna pick up some titanium white. And we'll just add some water lines in here. Set that back. And maybe, just maybe, 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 let's add a couple little water lines. Okay. okay. All right, let's start bringing stuff in the foreground. Let's see. Uh, Let's take some. Mm -hmm. I think we'll take some. Um, a little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of phthalo blue. Macadone magenta. We don't need a lot of color under here because we've got a lot of this black canvas working for us, so. I'm just gonna pull some out on this edge right here. Just pull that, pull that lake in. And same thing here. I'll spread all that out. Scraping it into the canvas and picking up any excess that we have off the canvas. Let's take a one-inch brush and some green and some yellow. I probably could have done that, not even had to lay that color in there, now that I'm thinking about it. It would have been a little, not quite as dark, but that's okay. All right. So I was using an oval brush. Let's add some trees. It's a fly. It's sitting on top of my camera. It's been sitting there for ever since I started. <laughs> it's just a regular old house fly. I don't know where it came from. Usually they, they don't see any kind of bugs down here in the studio. All right, let's see. Let's get some. Did he come back? No, he flew away. I don't know where he went. He, he'll be back, though, because he was up there when we started, and he's still here. All right, so let's pick this up. Uh, let's put... Mm -hmm. I don't think I want any gigantic trees in here, but we'll put a couple of pretty good sized trees for the landscape anyway. And 
I think this tree over here on the other side, though. I don't think I'll draw a line this time. I think I'll just let it kind of. I don't want to leave an open spot like that. Like he had a bad year somewhere. Leave some open spaces for my birds. I'm going to add a couple more things in here before we're done. So we'll take some sienna and some titanium white with maybe just a touch of blue. And let's just put it. Emily, have you, have you um, got the Lion King on your schedule lately? Is it, are you ready to go see the Lion King? I guess he does, man. He's looking right over my shoulder. He ain't back. Oh, he is back. I don't want to swat him. He might be some ancestor of mine. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's let's. Let's put some, a little bit of Bob Rossi stuff on here. All right, so I'm still, I still haven't added any liquid white to this, so let's just kind of we'll put the highlight on first. I'm gonna push up some bushes in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we'll put. Let me, Now this color, by the way, is not cad yellow. This is bismuth yellow, made by Grumbacher. I got it on clearance. It's usually twenty two ninety seven. I got it for a buck fifty. So I don't guess I'll be using it a lot. That's expensive stuff, man. But I'll use it while I can. Now we're gonna take some some of this blue, make this a little bluier, maybe add a little bit of white, but just to make it a little bit lighter. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that looks okay. I'll pick that color up again. Maybe push some of this up in the oh I like that, that came out nice. Alright, we'll put some of this shadowy grass up in here too. That looks pretty good. Alright. So you can just barely see the sun like coming through the clouds, like right there. I may add something for that. We'll see. We'll see. Tell you what, before we do that, I'm just gonna put the. Let's bring this forward just a tad. Let's pull a little bit of this color, this extra color, this darker color down. Oh, you know what? I forgot to share this out. Oh, well, maybe I'll share it out here in a second when I do the other one. All right, so let's get, uh, let's put this away. Give me, this little, little Kevin Hill brush, one inch brush. I'm gonna soften these water lines back here just to push them farther back in the distance. This painting's a little kind of pretty soft anyway, so let's just push it back like that, make it nice and smooth. 
Yeah. All right. Now we can add some water lines in here. So let's just kind of want one right here on the edge of this peninsula. It's like dark contrast down here. These water lines. That kind of really came out kind of vignette-y, didn't it? All right, so, <laughs> all right, let's soften those up a little bit. And let's put a little bit of a boat in here, maybe. Uh, let's see, what color should we use for the boat? Let's get some dark sienna and a little bit of yellow ochre. I just want a little bitty boat. Let's just kind of kind of sketch it in here. Not gonna be much of a boat. Just a little boat. It'll be dark on the inside though. So let's get. I just want to add this little boat in here. All right. Now let's lighten that up just a bit. It's just sitting there on the bank. It's just laying there on the bank. It's not doing anybody any harm. It's just sitting there on the bank. Maybe a couple little st stones. We'll call it that one done. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's use this. Let's use this filbert brush. So we'll make some kind of a little bit of a bluey gray and some white. Let's try that. I don't need a lot of highlight right there though because they're sitting back here in the shade. All right. So there we go. <laughs> He's loving the nature I'm creating. He's still sitting there. All right. I like that, so I think I'll just leave that the way it is right now. Oh, you know what? I need a. Now that I said that, I thought of one little thing. Let's put just a, a little bit of a waterline right here where this boat is. Just insinuating it. It's just kind of lapping into the water a little bit right there. There we go. All right, and we'll soften that a little bit. It's a little too rambunctious. So this is kind of. All right, that one's good. Okay, hang on a second guys, let me shift some things around and we'll do another one. I have another one I wanna work on. Be right back. Walk away. <laughs> 